you hit it on the head, the sense of adventure. Because we were offered uh, a job out here, uh, my friend Michael Amalov and I, we were student in the cinematography department at USC, and he wanted us to join him to make pictures for the international market. And his family were going to build a studio for him, so they wanted him to come back to organize everything, and, and Tandon wanted Amala and me to come and help him. That's how we got out here in the first place. Mm -hmm. I had the dialogue director on the set with me at all the time, and also uh, my assistants who spoke English would translate for me. So uh, I concentrated instead only on the action and the facial expressions. Does it fit the words that she is saying, or he, or whoever is acting? So, and actually several producers liked me uh, for that purpose, uh, because uh, I uh, don't bother about the dialogue part, but the action in those days. I would say it was one of my better films. Bhagwathar was a great star in those, in those days, particularly as a musician, beautiful voice. He was very mild-mannered. Actually, uh, to me, he was rather shy, because when I directed him, uh, he was always uh, move slowly and just, yes, yes, sir, and you know, and uh, he, he didn't force himself on you, and he took directions well. That was a big problem. One, uh, one of the problems that it took a long time to teach these people to get away from all the staginess and shouting at one another when they're close <laughs> and very broad uh, expressions and you know, house and you know, all that type of thing. I t tried to refine their uh, expressions and their movements soften it down a little bit and slow and get more in, in close-ups. Mm -hmm. uh, in the early days, even before I came, uh, same in Hollywood, they photographed a stage play on one set. And, no, and oh, it was only D.W. Griffith who introduced the yeah. close-up. So that's what I like to do is the close-up. And you know, the close-up magnifies any action a thousand times. <laughs> So they had to subdue their action and learn to speak in a conversational tone and act uh, normally without exaggeration. That's the difference between the stage and the screen. Yeah. Uh, not really, it just took time to work on them. I had to rehearse and rehearse and explain to them. And through my interpreter, my assistant, and so forth, if, they, if their actions didn't fit the words, and all of the words were translated into English for me on the script. When I wrote the shooting script, it was all translated into English. So I knew what they were saying, but in an English language. And I knew that their emotions and their expressions should fit what they're talking about. Uh, I would get the, uh, the script from the writer uh, translated into English, the uh, uh, dialogue on one half of the page and the action on the other half. Then I would break that down into shots. shots. I think I did uh, practically all of my own scripts and pictures. So I make notes on the side. And, uh, you know, it's, it was it helped me because uh, I, I spent at least one month on a script. I used to go up to Kanur. And uh, I had a bungalow to myself, and nice and quiet, and I could do some good concentrated work. So, uh, th and it paid off. She's willing to do anything, and she will rehearse, and I used to rehearse her over and over and again, and she's a very hard and dedicated worker on the set. And, and if, if it's not right, she knows she can do better. Sometimes it will stop because she's not in a good mood for some reason. I can't get her in a mood. And many times I would have to uh, become uh, annoyed with her <laughs> and uh, tell her what a terrible actress 
she is in, in order to get her angry. Then she slowly learned the technique and the art of, of acting. And, and, and Mira, you saw her. She did a beautiful, yeah. beautiful job. That's, that's my best picture. When we released Mira, Lord Mountbatten and his wife and Nehru and CR and all of them came for the premiere. At Delhi? In Delhi. Yes, that was a grand occasion. So that they was gave the Hindi a, version. That was the Hindi version. So they gave the picture a big send-off, a lot of publicity and so forth. Of course, and Sarojini Naidu was there also introducing Mira. Yes, yeah, she, mm -hmm. she speaks on screen. Yes, it's great, great there. woman. Great woman. I had lots of stories about her. <laughs> but she didn't have fine, fine woman. I was, for instance, I was trying to show her how to come in from off stage and introduce her and, and how to speak. She said, young man, you were teaching me how to speak when I'm a member of the parliament in, in London. And, uh, and I've been speaking, uh, public speaking for uh, 25 years and you're telling me how to speak. Huh? <laughs> so she put me in my place. Ms. Subalakshmi and her husband, Mr. Sadashivan, they uh, had the Kulki magazine at that time, along with Krishnamurti, Krishnamurti. the editor. And uh, they were, uh, had very close friendship with the CR. She wrote to Gopalachari. And of course, you know, he was uh, more or less uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's disciple, shall we say. And, uh, and they used to, and MS used to sing Gandhi's uh, prayer meetings. Yeah. Yes. So I would, they want me to come and take pictures of Mahatma Gandhi and MS singing and so forth. But he didn't like for me <coughs> to take a flash picture. <coughs> Why? Why? Because it, it it hurt his eyes. It glared. You know, the pop. In those days, we had little flash bombs. Yeah, right? yeah, flash bombs. That's right. And sometimes they would explode. Yeah. So it was frightening. <laughs> and one and one day, I I took one and one one of his security people around there grabbed my camera and was ready to smash it because I took a flash bulb. Well, that's a difficult question. Because I've had so many experiences, so many interesting experiences, unusual experiences. Uh, because mainly because I am an American, and you know our culture and the customs are quite different from India. And uh, some of the things I had to adapt to Indian way of life. And for instance, and, and I, I, because of my religion, I was not permitted in the temples, and we had a lot of temple scenes. One time, I forget the picture, uh, the make, makeup people put dark makeup on me and gave me a turban <laughs> and a lungi and, and took me in, and uh, they asked, well, who's this man? He, he, he doesn't speak our language. Oh, yeah, he, come, he comes from Kashmir. It's Kashmir, they speak a different language. So they said, okay, let him go. He's going into the temple, into sanctum. Memorable days. Uh, I, could, I could go on for hours and yeah. hours, but I have to r r go back in my brain here and remember some of those. <laughs>